Sinkania Quest Plus, a holistic learning platform. Hey, living in the concrete jungle, our lives actually revolve around the real jungle. Just one look into our lives and we realize that from morning till night and from arrival on this planet till the final flight, our lives are completely dependent on these amazing jungles. However, our deeds of greeds have threatened these forests and thereby our own existence. Our planet Earth has a total surface area of about 51 billion hectares. Now, out of this 51 billion hectares, only 29% of it was land. Now, out of this 29%, about 71% of it was hospitable land. 10,000 years ago, that is around the start of the Neolithic age, out of the total hospitable land, 44% of it was grasslands and shrubs and 55% of it was natural forest. This 55% meant about 6 billion hectares of land on earth. Can you imagine how big is 6 billion hectares? That's like 18 times the size of India. However, from then on, that is about 8000 BCE till about 1800 CE, the forest land was reduced from 6 billion hectares to 5.3 billion hectares with an annual rate of deforestation of 71,428 hectares per year. However, from 1800 onwards till today, that is in the last 200 years, the forest land has been further reduced to 4.3 billion hectares with an annual rate of deforestation at 5 million hectares per year. And guess what? Who is to be blamed for this? Uh-uh, no prices for guessing. Wildfires, forestry production, shifting agriculture, commodity-driven forestation and urbanization has led to this exponential rise in deforestation. Out of these, commodity-driven deforestation and urbanization has led to permanent damages. And why is that scary? Forests cause 40% of the rainfall. Forests also house 80% of the world's terrestrial biodiversity. And not just that. Almost 1.5 billion rural people directly depend on forest for their survival. Threat to forest is a threat to all these and many more benefits. Today, we release huge amount of greenhouse gases through our way of life. And each of these contribute to deforestation. So what is the problem with deforestation? It's quite simple. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, while trees on the other hand do exactly opposite. On an average, one tree produces nearly 118 kilograms of oxygen per year. And at the same time, the trees also absorb 21 kilograms of carbon dioxide on an average per year. Thus, the trees also act as CO2 absorbents. However, the impact of deforestation is threefold. When a tree is cut, it stops releasing oxygen. Second, it stops absorbing the carbon dioxide from atmosphere. And worst is the third, it starts releasing carbon dioxide it has absorbed so far. And carbon dioxide alone amounts to 80% of the greenhouse gases. So what do we do then? Stop deforestation? Certainly. For example, the bond challenge. This is a global goal of bringing 350 million hectares of degraded and deforested land into restoration by the year 2030. Also, you may think that we should plant more of those trees who absorb carbon dioxide the maximum, right? Wrong! The same tree cannot survive in diverse climates and also it is impossible to rebuild a natural forest. So our approach should be more on protecting the existing ecosystem along with planting new trees and thereby also ensuring that each of these trees survive so that the trees can do what they are meant to do. Thank you for watching this video. For more such amazing content, download the Sinkania Quest Plus app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.